Hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. It has been a while, a very long time, and we're back. I don't really know what's going on. on I see a Lenny mission. That's what I see. Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. I will fucking pounce on your ass. Off Yes, kid. Hey. You got a Ah. Uh. <laughs> this hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, Lenny. Lenny, my boy. <laughs> All right then. Let's go rob some fools. Look. Hey, get up. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was funny. I'm sorry. Look at me. Hey, Arthur. Look at me. Witness me. You guys go back to bed. You guys are horsing around, aren't you? You're all horsing around. You're all, you're all horsing around. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. It feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Oh, we can inspect this. What is this? It's a church. Easy. Say something if you're gonna stop, okay? Hear that? <laughs> okay. Someone's on the track. All right. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. Yeah. You're on me now. Right. What? 
It didn't blow up. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. You sure we want to be this close? Um, I can do whatever the fuck I want. But yes, we don't want to be this close. Oh, no. Let's back up. That's a little bit too close. All right, you follow me, Lenny? Follow me. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. <laughs> oh, why did I get that? Sorry, it's been a while since I've been playing Red Dead Redemption. Come on. Oh, thank God. Let's go, Lenny. Yes, we are. Holy shit, Lenny, you almost died, man. You're alright, though. I got you. Oh, oh my god! Holy shit! Wait, are you taking cover behind those? Fucking idiot. Oh, you nasty little shit birds. Oh, you're gonna get it now. You're gonna get the spanking of your lifetime. You're gonna get the spanking of your lifetime. You're gonna get so spanked hard. Oh, you're gonna get so spanked. This is Lenny, they're all this is the last one. Lenny, where are you going? Alright, Lenny, there he's they're they're all dead. Quick. You can calm down. Any men in the area would have heard relax. that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Follow me, Lenny. I know where it's at. My uh <laughs> Call me the dog oh, yeah. sometimes. Uh, the the the, the top of the dog. It. Hey. This could be Cuz I have such a good fucking nose got? for this shit. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Perfect. We got the right. We need to get these back. Easy, Arthur. Whoa, whoa, okay. We got it. Come on. <coughs> G up. Fall in. Well, you ain't side with the wind. Hey, riders, coming our way. Okay. Keep Don't cool worry, there. Lenny. Doing Whoa, out hey, come on. That's not. Let's not call people names, all right? You don't need a. You don't need to oh, call them. Oh, oh, oh! You made me kill the horse. Motherfucker, that was a good horse. No, 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 Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. We need to take this motherfucker down. You never bring a horse. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where'd he go? No, 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 no. He's not getting away. Goddamn horse killer. Killing horses like that. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I hate killing horses. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. 
He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But no, no, but nothing. But nothing. And everyone who counts. Oh my head. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Arthur. Yep. Yeah, dog. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Good job, Lenny. What? Hello? Hello. This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. I'll fucking kill you. Sheriff's back. Orders. Uh, never mind. You wanted me to have a word Sheriff with some orders. folk on the property. Mm -hmm. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? Hey, uh... Hey, sir. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. Uh, sir. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Yeah. I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. <laughs> Witness me! Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. <sighs> Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaite's for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty, and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. Where the fuck did my horse go? Horsey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get my horsey. I'll be... I'll be back. I'll be back. Excuse me, gentlemen. We're just gonna ride in there. This is actually a very easy strat. You just go around the buildings. Go as far away from the buildings as you can. Idiot! 
Yeah, and then you just go all the way around and meet them front at the at this area. Yep, there we go. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, I guess I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. Ha! Well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are... There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. All right, same strategy. We're just gonna go around. What the hell? I hear noises. Whoa! Run! Run! Bo, my good sir, are you here? This is my horse, Stephen. Stephen, this is Bo. You got Bo. my money? Sure. Did she give anything for me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll. Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. We gotta go now. Dude, she's in trouble. Bo, she's in trouble. Up, right. Come on, Bo. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Oh, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. 
Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Damn right. We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook now, the now. food and we fetch Take us the down water. Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Try to keep up, guys. I'm so fucking fast. Of the movement. I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes Excuse to Excuse me, sir. It. Move. I hope it won't. Uh, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Don't trample anyone. What? It's not that kind of demonstration. Oh, I'm sorry, of course. Uh, it's a left I understand. Here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. <laughs> You can't drive so recklessly, sir. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Don't give it a rest, hey. you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Can I take out my gun, please? Yeah, pretty dumb I don't know why I want to, but it just seems like a lot of fun. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. I know. I am on top of the steps. Then all you need to I have do demonstrated is my dominance ladies? over these people. Uh, yes, I mean, no, um, uh, we have demonstrated all of our dominance. All of us, as together as one. Look at these fools. they all yelling at us. You fools! And gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equals are fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> His philosophy hey. on What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always were. Bo, little... where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, or uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's come on, Bo. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can go fast. Follow me. I know a place. I got an idea, actually. Have you ever seen uh, WWE? I have the top row. <laughs> Listen, listen, everybody. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hidden Shadow. I am the best. I do content every month as much as I can. Listen, it is so good that you all are here to talk about my YouTube content. And I love you all. Votes for women? Oh, shit. Um, God, I'm such a fucking idiot. Come on, Bo. They weren't here to talk about my YouTube channel. Kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. 
If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Look at me, I'm this a horsey. This is awful! Whoa, what the Nobody fuck? died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh... They keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. We got 30 bucks, baby.